Thank you, Chris. All new at five, we have new video of that tornado that ripped through Spartanburg last week. Spencer Simmons says he recorded this a week ago from Park Square Apartments. Look at that wind and rain. That's on W.O. Azell Boulevard. It was an EF1 tornado. Now, storm victims still battling those weather conditions as they attempt to pick up the pieces. Let's get out to Fox Carolina. Jennifer Phillips, she's been in Spartanburg County all week looking at all the damage. The sun is out, but man, the cleanup. You can see the damage there behind you, Jen. Yeah, still a lot of work to do, and we've talked to some storm victims who say it's really been tough this week. Right now, we're in a neighborhood just off Highway 29, and in some areas, it still looks like a bomb went off. And just behind me here, we're told one huge tree pretty much took out the back of this home. When a tornado blew through Spartanburg County, the wind whipped and Megan Lewis quickly hid under a table. I just heard a lot of wind and a lot of rain and looking outside, I couldn't really see anything. It was practically white. She and her father then heard tree snap and one left a crater in the back of their home, which damaged the attic. Structural damage up there, the beams, and then there's some water damage. And it's also in that area, like a bathroom in my dad's bedroom. And the constant weather makes it more difficult get things fixed. This was worse than anything we've ever been through here. And that's why teams with Samaritan's Purse, an international disaster relief organization, are working hardest hit areas. We respond to wildfires out west. We respond to uh, major flooding throughout the country, uh, tornadoes, windstorms. Lorenzo Torres is the program manager, and he along with 60 volunteers are cutting limbs and picking up debris. We're also here helping um, homeowners muck out their homes if they have floodwaters come in. For volunteers, Bethlehem Baptist Church is ground zero. It's here at the Family Life Center where they get equipment, sleep, and eat. We would just want to love people and it doesn't matter who they are, where they're from, we come alongside them to love them, to encourage them in Jesus' name. And for some like Megan Lewis, that brings calm after this storm. So you can see here in the backyard, wind and trees also damage this shed here. So it's pretty much this kind of damage that we've seen throughout Spartanburg County. Now, if you would like to volunteer with Samaritan's Purse, you can do that by going on to the organization's website for more information on that. Cody and Victoria.